decided to take center stage with this. Can you show me one verse in this Quran where it says to attack America, attack Americans, or attack innocent people? Well, of course it doesn't say attack America or attack America. I mean, the, the, the book was written back, you know, somewhere around the 8th and 9th century, so America wasn't even around to say attack America. But you do have a verse in the story that is in there, and, and, and there is talk about killing infidels. Explain it to me. Major Hassan was shot at Allah 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 Allah. The people that flew those planes in the building shot at Allah 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 Allah. I've been on the battlefield, my friend. Okay? Don't try to blow sunshine on my butt and tell me. Well, Florida Congressman Alan West joins us live right now from Davie, Florida. Good morning to you, Congressman. Good morning, Steve. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Um, that was quite an answer that you gave the guy from CARE. Well, I think when you uh, remember the song by Tom Petty that says, I won't back down, <laughs> that's the clear message that I have to send. Uh, when you think about the fact that we just had four Americans that were executed by Somali pirates, now is not the time for us to uh, play you know, footsie with a very determined uh, adversary and, and really an enemy that is causing all kind of uh, conflict uh, across this world. And so I have to stand up for the principles of this country and uh, people know that I will not be intimidated. And not only that, uh, Colonel, but you stood up for the principles of the Muslim countries. You served abroad and you tried to yeah. keep freedom alive in Muslim countries. Absolutely right, and I think that's one of the things that uh, we should understand. You know, we went into Kosovo to protect the uh, the Muslim uh, population there. You know, I was there in Desert Shield, Desert Storm to uh, protect Kuwait. I served in Iraq. I've been in uh, Afghanistan. I spent two and a half years there. So uh, I think I've done my share to make sure that I have brought the light of freedom into the Islamic world. And for this young man to come up and try to uh, castigate me as some type of uh, enemy of Islam, I will not tolerate that. Uh, you showed that indeed. Meanwhile, let's uh, talk a little bit about this. I know you're down in Florida right now. You guys have uh, the week off, but yes. there's a possibility that, uh, about, well, let's see, a little over 10 days from now, the federal government might shut down unless a continuing resolution is passed by the Senate, and Harry Reid's called it draconian. We've heard a number of Republicans say, look, the Republicans don't want a shutdown. No, you're absolutely right, and it's not draconian. We have a spending problem in Washington, D.C., and I just don't think that Senator Harry Reid and President Obama really did get the message from November of 2010. What we did, uh, we tackled a failure of the uh, House Democrats in the 111th Congress in that they did not pass a budget. So we passed a continuing resolution, right. but we also tackled the big problem of spending in Washington, D.C., and it's time for them to show leadership, and it's not about political gamesmanship, because the president is the chief executive officer of this corporation called America. And if this country shuts down or the government shuts down, it'll be his responsibility. Right. And you framed it well. And as the president of the United States has said in the past, uh, elections have consequences. And your side won, mm -hmm. and that's what you're choosing to do. Yes. Absolutely right. It's very funny. And uh, when they had the health care roundtable debate, uh, what he said to Senator John McCain and others was that, uh, hey, I won. So now he has to understand that the will of the American people clearly came out. And we saw a seismic change in the House of Representatives. Sure. Uh, we passed legislation that says, you know, this is a continuing resolution with spending cuts. They need to get on board and right. not play games with the American people and our economic future. All right. Uh, Congressman Alan West.